the fact that every day we're asking new questions and understanding new answers. That's what inspires me about science. I am Guy Rothblum, and I'm a professor of computer science and applied mathematics at the Weizmann Institute of Science. My research is in the field of theoretical computer science, which is the mathematical study of what computers can and cannot do. I'm using this rigorous mathematical view to reason about real-world concerns about corrupted computations as well as privacy and fairness of computer-aided decisions. One of the most interesting things I've been working on is how can we verify that a complicated, complex computation that's being performed remotely was performed correctly. We came up with solutions for proving the correctness of general computations over the internet. Proofs are incredibly important, not just in academia and in mathematics, but also in real-world cryptographic contexts. We're living in a world where privacy, especially privacy in computing systems, is a huge and growing concern. As we have very, very sensitive information about individuals being stored online in massive data sets. There's huge benefits in analyzing this data, say for medical purposes, for infrastructure planning, even just for improving computing services. We showed that it's possible to obtain very accurate answers to incredibly rich statistical studies without compromising individual privacy. This theoretical research is finding its way to real-world systems that are being used by billions of people. It's also having an impact on governmental organizations, such as the U.S. Census. My father, who was also a scientist, used to say that he's incredibly lucky because his work, research, is his favorite hobby. I'd say that's true for me too. I'll spend a fair amount of time thinking, either by myself or with colleagues or with students. Most of my ideas have come to me while sitting at cafes or in libraries, and there's something about that setting that fosters creativity. Moni has been a fantastic mentor to me, and he was the one who guided my first steps into the world of research when I started my master's at Weizmann. Guy is extremely optimistic, has a cheerful disposition, and is not afraid of challenges. And I believe that Guy has a similar foresight in his research. What makes Guy's work so unique is that he doesn't take the current state of the science as the final word, and is willing to dig further and come up with hidden gems there. And the Blavatnik Award for Young Scientist is a wonderful idea because this is exactly the stage where they need a lot of encouragement. Being recognized by the Blavatnik Award for Young Scientist is an incredible honor for my research and it's very humbling. My goal is to address all of these societal concerns about computing and I think that this will really allow us to unlock the full potential of the computing revolution.